hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is shiba ham and i'm here again with another video definitely because that's what you're watching but like i really appreciate like the love so far the little love so far and i really would like to you guys to like watch to the end and i mean you've seen the title already so you know what we're going to be talking about today and what we're going to be going through today and People have been asking me to do this video so here i am doing the video so we're going to be talking about tips basically on how to make the best use of whatever device you have you're using to take your pictures and then editing the pictures using lightroom i use photoshop and lightroom to edit my pictures but for the sake of today we're going to be using lightroom only because why i do photoshop is not really that um What's the word? It's not really that. Huh, I don't know the word. It's not the major thing, basically. To me, though, like what I do in Photoshop is just to increase the intensity of the highlight. So, like, basically, if you're looking at me right now, you can see that this part of my face is lighter than, than like, maybe here, my forehead, and, like, my hair is lighter than here. Basically, people that do makeup will know this that like you always put like your highlights here, right? And then you put your contours like you get. So like basically that's what I do with Photoshop. So I just increase the intensity of the highlight. So if I'm looking sideways now, you can see my cheekbone is highlighted. So basically I just increase the intensity of the highlight. So that's what I do in Photoshop. So it's not really that empty, but like the major work is in Lightroom, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So if you really want to learn how, basically like basics, just basics of Lightroom and then how I actually go about it, then please do keep on watching and please watch the end and also follow as I'm doing it because I'm not a pro and I'm not an expert so I really do not know how to explain it to you. I think it would be better to like just watch and do at the same time. Okay, and please subscribe, please like, please share this video to people that will need it and i really appreciate so thank you okay so thanks for coming back actually if you stayed to pass the intro thank you like thank you oh yeah by the way this backdrop thingy it's not a backdrop <laughs> i i took cardboard and i painted it this like i just took a sponge and put paint like i like painting though but like it's been longer painted so i just did this and then i just put it up Maybe someone will like it, but I, I think I like it. I'm not really sure yet, but like it's there so and don't mind the way it's like swaying I think it's swaying. Yeah, because of the breeze from the window. I'm currently sitting in front of the window. So yeah so um Basically, I want to pin, uh, mention some points right because no matter how much you try to edit a picture if the picture is not good like the raw file like the raw image is not good the ed there's no amount of edit that you want to do that will make it okay the camera that i used to take my pictures the phone actually the phone not a camera i don't have a camera yet so the phone i'm using is infinix 04 and that's why i used to take my pictures and also record my videos for it for youtube because that's what i have right now so but then there's there's some certain things that i've known i've learned so far basically as to how um to get the best of whatever you have so basically the key things to taking a picture is good lighting and a good environment right you need, you need an environment that is pleasing like you don't want you don't want to see people's underwear like around in your picture and stuff like that and then good lighting like good lighting like lighting is like the like the major thing because camera sensors actually um read light basically so like phones of today actually can take better pictures in the night but it's never as good as the way it is during the day because of the light, right? So like basically cameras, cameras, the camera sensor um, takes an image, right, with the aid of light. So like the more lighting, the more, um, the more processing, like the more work the sensor can do. Let me just put that way. I don't know the like technical terms and all. So like that's the reason why you need good lighting for your picture. So if you want to take a picture, don't back the window. 
because then the light is directly entering into the sensor of the camera you won't see yourself basically don't take a picture where it's dark except you are trying to get a particular type of effect because there's some aesthetic kind of pictures like maybe you're in a dark room and then the touch light is shining from the right side so like basically those kind of pictures like they, they read a different meaning but if that's not what you're going for then do not take pictures in the dark like take pictures in the light like you get so basically that's like what makes your pictures look better so if your camera isn't like of so much quality like so like it's the quality is like so sharp and all then if there's enough light it basically i won't say increases the sharpness but i think it just looks better sure. it just looks better so we're going to be editing two pictures today actually and i'm going to be able to discuss like some things with those pictures okay so but before we go there let's discuss about um my camera my phone Okay, so it's an Infinix Zero Four. That's what I use right now, currently. I know that with the times I've taken pictures with this phone, when I take the pictures in bright light, and when I mean light hitting my face, like hitting me directly, like good lighting, the picture comes out clearer, the picture comes out better, the picture comes out nicer. Like details on my face are showing; you can see things clearly and all that. So, basically, take pictures in in like. A bright place temperatures where there's enough lighting my nail my, my, my nails are horrible right now they're horrible but anyway Sha, so um so today we're going to be we're going to be editing two pictures today and we're going to be editing this picture and this one okay so these two pictures here yeah, i took in this room that i'm recording right okay no this second one sorry the one I'm wearing black and white. I took this picture in the room I am in right now. I just like put a backdrop, not like a backdrop, like a white piece of cloth basically. And I sat down on the floor in front of it and I took this picture with my self with the selfie camera of the phone and a tripod. Okay. And then for this one, I used well, this picture was sort of like creative and all. And I got the inspiration from um Sorel Amor. I also watch her on YouTube as well, and I learned a lot from her on self photography and all that. So, um, this picture, I basically took a piece of cloth and I, I put it over the phone, and I was basically in the cloth. So, and I timed the selfie camera and I took the picture. So, like the sun was still like coming in from this angle here, and you can, if you can notice, I I told you guys that I like to increase the intensity of my highlight. So this is I've increased this um intensity of the highlights here and also on my lip this side and if you notice here on my cheek as well and this tiny little place on my forehead and this part of my eye so i did all that on photoshop here anyway so this is what we're going to be working with today so basically this is lightroom if you want to like get your picture into the um software you go to library you go to import down here and then it takes you to something that looks like your system you select from here where your pictures are and stuff like that so um that being said then after that you go to develop which is where you actually do the developing of you edit basically here i have like my presets like things well i did a lot of like testing when i first of all started using the app so i like created a lot of you know experimenting and all that stuff so basically we're going to be looking at um the process so um i'm going to explain as i'm going on so basically just follow along so the first thing here on this right side is temperature right so i'm not going to talk about the techniques and the physics behind a picture because if you notice your primary colors are red blue and wow See, I've already mixed it up with digital color. Just one second, one second. So RGB is digital color, which is red, green, and blue. Then what are the primary colors? Red. Is green there? I know blue is there. I think it's yellow. Wow. I've, I've been I've been used to using digital colors now and I, I can't remember the primary colors for the real life Yeah, this is sad. Anyway, there are two groups of Primary colors like call it. So there's digital color and then the normal colors that you mix that they taught you in school those days So I, 
I think it's yellow. I'm not sure. I'm really sorry, but I'm. I, let's just go on. So basically, digital colors is RGB. And I'm very sure you guys know what R. You've heard RGB before, which is red, green, and blue. And that's what the spectrum up here is reading. Well, we're not going to explain that today. We're just going to start from temperature. So temperature, right, is um, basically how cold or hot your picture will be. Basically, that's what temperature is. So for this edit, we're going to put the temperature at 28. So I'm just going to type in 28 there. And that would increase the temperature. And like the reason why I like doing this is because it gives more warmth to my skin. Because I'm dark... I'm black okay so I need the warmth in my skin to make my skin color pop you get so then tint honestly I actually really don't get what tint means but I know that tint either gives you a greenish tone or a magenta tone and then for dark skin people our side goes towards the magenta and magenta gives you a more um, gives more life to the color but today we're not going to tamper with that so I'm just going to leave it at zero exposure is the amount of light now i remember remember i said um light in your picture um, light like he's enough light when you're taking pictures but then photo editing apps can actually increase the light in your picture so let's increase and see what happens so see how much light's coming into this um picture right now and this is how look at how it's getting darker so basically we're going to take this picture down a bit just to make my skin look more brown and less yellowish reddish and that color shall so bright it's just going to be like this so i'm going to go minus 60 minus 0 0.61 so i'm going to take my contrast down contrast i think everybody knows what contrast is contrast is like in every um, photo editing app like phone app and also like that's minus five i'm going to take it to minus five basically to just give me some you know like this darker side of my face to blend in with the lighter side so i'm going to give it like five okay minus five rather so and then i'm taking my highlights now remember i said i love my highlights to pop but in this edit like it's so hilarious actually but i'm going to take it down i'm going to take it down to 100 so minus 100 and that's because i want the places where i have intensified the highlights to actually be the only highlight in focus like that should be the only highlight you're seeing. Like, if you notice, if I increase it now, you can see more light around the picture, right? And then, if I reduce it, the, the place where I intensified the highlights just was there. And that's actually what I want. So, basically, if I reduce the highlight in the edit, right? In this, in Lightroom, I'm increasing the highlight that I intensified. So, that is what's happening there. My shadows now are basically the shadows in my picture. And I'm going to increase it to um, 24. Because shadows make, um, okay shadows will make the highlights pop more if you reduce it right but in this case because if i reduce it, you can see that it's too much like it's way too much and then everything just looks like i'm like light is just shining in one side so like i'm going to increase it just so that it can blend a little bit so i'm going to increase it to um 24 ish 22 23 24 okay so my whites basically is my whites in the picture so if i increase the whites the whites in the picture get whiter if i reduce it they get darker so basically i want to increase my white a little bit to so, um plus 32 okay yeah and then i'm going to be increasing my blacks as well okay see so if i reduce the blacks they get more and then if i increase it it's kind of going away basically so i'm going to increase it to plus 28 yeah okay so as i've increased the blacks we're going to move into the next section and this section is called they call it presence basically i don't know what that means but i know that texture increases like the details on your picture um clarity will include increase the clarity definitely and then dehaze i don't know what to use but dehaze sort of like um, you know when you have like rain clouds and then you want to have that kind of rain cloud effect so basically that's what dehaze does okay so i'm going to show you now so this is texture if you notice as i'm increasing the texture look at how all the different colors on my skin is like coming out so much which is definitely not okay so i'm just going to leave this one at zero because i really don't think i need it like my picture is 
detailed enough okay so um, i'm going to go to clarity and increase it to about 19 20 ish just to give a little bit of clarity you get so like that is okay and then my dehaze i'm going to increase it to plus 44 if you can you see can you see see how it's like get i don't know how i don't know what to describe this as but like this is what it looks like when you use it okay so basically it's it just basically looks cloudy in my eyes uh, but like i'm going to increase it to 44 or basically they're about 46 they're about okay so the next part is the tone curve right and the tone curve is like basically a more advanced part of the highlights and shadows and well using lightroom mobile though some people don't like tweak the tone curve basically because they don't know about it but i know that there are different types of curves and then we're going to be doing the s curve today because they said um well people that i've like learned from they claim that the s curve works for most pictures so we're going to use the s curve first and they now tweak it a bit to suit the picture okay so we're going to just take this curve and we're going to bring it down leave this in the middle and take this up sorry okay yes and then we're going to take this up and if you look at it like it has a slight s curve and all so i can notice that there's a lot of orange color here but we'll use another section to tweak that so i'm just going to raise this a little bit up just a little bit okay I'm bring this a little bit down like that okay so um this is going to be this is the next part and it's the color section which is the part that i really love so much like i love this part so much because like it's play with colors and all so basically just watch what's happening right now if i take this blue down to the green side can you see that the blue in this picture has to gone down like it's changing to green so like i really love this section like it changes color and reduce color and stuff so basically we're, we're going to correct this color error in my face right now okay and we're going to start with the hue there's hue there's saturation and luminance hue is basically the color itself hue is color that's what hue means color saturation is basically i would like to call it adding more orange and more yellow because it's sort of okay saturation is best explained as taking a picture from black and white to colored basically so if you are if you reduce the saturation completely to zero then you are taking your picture to black and white or whatever you're reducing saturation on to black and white if you're increasing it you're giving it more color basically that's what saturation is. and then luminance is light so basically each color has its own amount of light that is accept so basically luminance is took in that light so um we're going to look at red now i know that in this place there's red like it's obvious there's red in this picture so i'm going to take that red and increase it to 25. okay now the reason why i'm increasing it i'm not increasing the red now if you look at the red bar right you notice that here to the left is more red and here is more yellow yellowish right so we're going to reduce the red but also that's the thing about this um, hue hue is like from one color to another like on the spectrum each color has an opposing color so the hue is basically taking your color from one end to the spectrum to the opposite end of the spectrum so um red if you're reducing the red you're definitely inviting more of a particular color which is yellow so i'm going to take it to 25 ish thereabouts and then i'm going to reduce because this one now has created more orange so i'm going to have to reduce the orange on this end because this is orange and orange is opposite to i think this is green or yellowish green i think so i'm going to reduce it to like minus 18 or minus 20. okay and then i'm going to now take my yellow as well i don't like the yellow is too much so i'm going to reduce it to 50 minus 50 ish okay then i'm going to take my green up i'm taking my greens up a bit and that's because i have this blue i just feel like it's a better shot so. then i'm reducing my aqua to minus 77 if you look at it up there like if you, you can notice the blue changing right so that's taking it down to minus 77 then i'm taking my blue 
all the way down i'm taking it all the way down and the reason why this is happening now is because my thing yeah normally isn't supposed to have like bright colors you get so i really want my skin to be the focus of the picture whether it's i want it to be darker or i want it to be lighter or like brighter or jiggets or more moody or jiggets so like the color itself in the picture like colors that don't match my skin i don't want them there so like that's that's literally my theme on my page and i'm still trying to perfect it though but at least i'm i've understood the edit section of it so i'm going to reduce my bling and i'm leaving my purple and magenta at zero because there's no purple and there's no magenta in the picture so i'm going to now go to my saturation right and i'm going to increase the saturation of um the red to like 32 ish oops sorry okay and then i'm going to reduce the orange to 31 minus 31 right and i'm reducing the yellow as well minus 47 yeah okay and then i'm reducing the greens yes i'm reducing the saturation of the green to minus 77 okay just going to reduce it then my aqua too i'm going to reduce it to like 65 my blues i'm reducing it completely now if you notice what what has happened to my blue right so my blue has literally gone zero like this i've reduced the amount of color basically so um i'm leaving the rest to at zero that's popular magenta then luminance of my red i'm going to leave the way it is the orange i'm going to reduce to like 12 okay i'm going to reduce to like 12 i'm going to reduce the yellow to minus 44 ish there about it doesn't have to be that perfect like i mean minus extra one will not you know change anything <laughs> it will change anything but like it won't be visible to the eyes but like you get so my greens i'm going to increase it to a hundred and i'm going to take my aqua down to 17 downwards basically and then taking my blue to 26. um yeah okay just a little bit there okay so this i like the way my skin is looking already so okay so um okay so after that section we're going to go to the part that people well it's kind of hard to understand so um so people don't really use it okay so but we're going to use it today and it's called calibration camera calibration so this calibration basically i don't know but like it's explained this way that um there are colors that your camera sees when they take the picture so basically for you to change what the color is like what the camera is receiving as color basically changing that one that's what it does yeah. so I don't understand my camera so like i don't know but yet so like we're going to start tweaking from red primary so like red primary yes you remember i said rgb in the beginning those are digital primary colors so you have red primary green primary and blue primary that's what the camera reads so basically you're going to be tweaking it based on what the camera is going to be seeing so if i want my camera not to see red then i'll take down the red like you get so basically that's what this part is for so um we're going to be taking leaving the hue of the red here because i don't want to change the hue i don't want to look more orange or more pink or anything so i'm going to change but reduce the saturation to like 32 ish okay so i'm going to reduce it to 32 ish and if you look at my skin now my skin now looks my skin now looks like brown and now this is the logic right you increase the hue of the red you increase the saturation of the red in the color section right then you're now taking the saturation in the camera calibration so basically it's going to give you the give you a brown effect 
and I want my skin to be brown, definitely, whether it's dark brown or light brown or any brown. I just want my skin to be brown because I'm, I'm black, so like I'm brown, so yeah. So basically, that's what I'm going for. So I've reduced it to like minus 34, okay. And then we're going to the blue primary because, like, I don't want to touch the green. So we're going to go to the blue primary, and that's going to solve this Ankara cloth here, right? So we're going to move to the blue primary, and we're going to give the blue primary hue minus 38 and give the saturation minus 27. Okay, and now I like the way my skin is looking. I like the way it's brown, and I can reduce the saturation of the red more if I want my skin to be more brown. Okay, so um, that being done, so now we're going to now save this as a preset so you can have it saved in your system, and then you don't have to go through all these processes over again. So we're going to click on this plus button over the preset section of the app create presets and we're going to save it as youtube edit okay and then we we'll click create sorry okay and we'll click create right and then once that is done we'll go to the next picture let's say this is a new picture we took and we want to like apply the same preset to it so we can have like a seamless theme on our page then we can have the picture we'll go to our preset panel here called user presets and then we'll go to YouTube edit and click it and then you can see it has been applied to the picture all the settings that we all the including all the s-curve and everything has been applied to this particular picture so you can actually tweak it more if I want like the picture to be more red I can just tweak this a little bit take it up and then you can see how I look right now which is not nice so I'm going to reduce it back yes and this I like so Basically, that's how I use Lightroom and yeah. So thank you guys for coming so far. Like, I mean, you've watched this far to the end and I really appreciate it. And I hope this video actually helps somebody, at least give somebody a little bit knowledge on how to use Lightroom, like the web version and not just the mobile version because there's Lightroom mobile as well. Okay, so... I'm really happy that you guys have watched this far and I'm really grateful. Thank you. Yes, and please subscribe, please share if you like. If you like my face, just subscribe. Thank you. Like, just subscribe, guys. <laughs> anyway, like, just subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Please like my video. Please share. Like, just, just take the link and just share it to people. Like, people that you know that mean you know want to try this out and we need it so like that would be very very nice so i'm kind of nervous right now i don't know why but like <laughs> anyway thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye